art is what you make of it. For some, art is a way of speaking about their issues. For others, art is for showing the characteristics that are unseen. One can say that the purpose of art is for beauty and truth. Beauty in terms of aesthetics and truth in terms of the message. Art is a depiction of faith bringing to life what existed in our imagination. Art is life. My name is Sese Letualo. I am a fourth year journalism and media studies student. I'm specializing in TV production and I make paper dresses. I would describe myself as creative uh, because of the work that I do. Um, because of the field of study that I'm in, it requires a lot of creativity and that is how I see myself. Um, I would also describe myself as someone who is reserved. Not necessarily, but I've heard people say that I'm very reserved. Um, so yeah, that's how I describe myself. I also like to think of myself as a thinker. I like to really delve deep into my thoughts and analyze things and look into uh, people's perspectives and draw from those people's perspectives. So I would describe myself as a thinker. So I have been making paper dresses for two years now. I was introduced to it in my second year of drama studies. I did costume design and we were not allowed to use fabrics or any other materials besides recyclable material and they had to be white. And in all my drama studies, that was the course I enjoyed the most. So after finishing it, I thought I want to continue with it and I've been doing it since then. What I love about what I do is that I feel like I have full control over it. Well, not necessarily full control, but because it's paper, I get to do with it whatever I want to do with it. And I don't necessarily have to follow the fashion design rules that are out there. I can do whatever I want to do. Um, I can make whatever I want to make. And what inspires me is the idea of being able to see something in my head and be able to bring it to life. I think more than anything, it's that. Like if I see something in my head, I'm convinced that I can bring it to life and I always aim to do that and it keeps me going. Um, the challenges that I face in the work that I do, um, because Grahamstown is a small town um, and the, I don't have access to a lot of things, so I struggle with getting paper or uh, well, the paper that I want. So having access to that is a struggle for me. Um, I also struggle with knowing when to stop. Um, I'm always like, I can't stop myself when I'm doing the work and so it's always a thing of like am I managing my time correctly because I'm spending so much of it doing this work. Um, also really like just struggling to get in connection with the right people that I can work with because the work that I do requires me to work with models, I have to work with photographers and it's really difficult to get into contact with those people because we are all students and we have to work around each other's times and it makes it difficult because when I'm on the go, I'm doing all the work that I know I'm supposed to do. And I have to now find someone who's gonna model the stuff. I have to find someone who's gonna take pictures. Photographers take time to like edit pictures and do all of that work. And so I always struggle with that. So this is my final year here at Rhodes University. I might not be coming back next year. Actually, I'm not coming back to Makanda. And it's all very scary when I think about it. But yeah, I'm not coming back. 
but I've always wanted to work on a project that is a combination and a reflection of the work that I do as a producer and as a paper dressmaker. So I have decided to work on a project that brings together a group of my friends who are artists and who are also doing their final year. I want us to get together to reflect on what it means to be artists in Makanda, seeing that it is a small town and some people feel that it is very limiting and obviously there are people who feel like Makanda is an amazing place for one to work on their artistry, um, it's an amazing place to develop oneself as an artist. And so I want us to explore all of these things and really reflect on our times here and the work that we have done being in the space. So I have decided to bring together Painter and Lamoy, myself as a paper dressmaker, Luluto as a model and Lukwaito as a photographer. So what's going to happen is that Lamoy is going to make a painting and then I'm going to make a dress from the painting that he makes. So I'm going to take the exact painting and use it to make a dress. And then Luluto is going to model in the dress and Lukwaito is going to take pictures of both the dress and the painting. Really what I want us to do is to reflect on our creative processes and kind of let you guys in on the things that we do and what we're really hoping to achieve as artists. Uh, today I'm meeting with Lamwai today uh, so that I can describe to him the kind of painting that I want. I am a bit confused but I'm hoping that he will help me with it because I mean yeah, that's the whole point, to be collaborative and to come up with ideas together. And all of this is supposed to happen within a week, or less, less than a week, um, because we have to get the painting done, I have to make the dress, and Lulu has to model, and then we have to take pictures. But we also have to film the whole process, and we have to edit everything, and it must be done within a week. Um, so, yeah, this is... Day one. My name is Lamwa Shitambo. I am currently doing my Masters in Fine Art at Rhodes University. I'm specializing in painting. I would describe myself as thoughtful, serious, and dedicated. Um, I would say thoughtful because um, People always describe me as thoughtful when they when they think about my art and, um, and and just how I end up with the work that I do. It takes a long process and it requires a lot of think, thinking. Um, I would say I'm serious because um, just the way my disposition amongst people, um, I tend not to be very fun loving um, as, as I'm told. And I would say dedicated because um, I try and spend a lot of time as much as I can uh, getting my work done. Um, I'm inspired by other artists and, and um, just looking at how the ideas that they develop and how interesting um, they bring interesting topics together and yes. Yeah. Some of the challenges that I face in the work that I do um, are that it requires a lot of um, discipline um, to be able to continuously show up to, to my studio but not just that also with small things like um, uh, being uh, concentrating um, for long hours standing while painting I find that very challenging um, um, other than that um, I think also just developing the right ideas Come in.
My meeting with Namwai went better than I was expecting. As I said, going into this, I wasn't really clear about the painting that I wanted or even the design of the dress I wanted to make. I was also stressing about the amount of time we have to pull this whole thing off and I was just really stressed and wondering if we we're going to be able to pull it off and if it's going to come out as I envision it in my mind or as we all envision it in our minds. But my conversation with Lamai helped me to calm down a bit. My creativity was really sparked, hey, like something about speaking with another creative really helped me to see things clearly and to put things into perspective. This, this whole thing reminded me of why I wanted to do this project in the first place. I wanted us to be able to draw from one another's perspectives and one another's ways of thinking and seeing things. What really helped me was just knowing that I'm not alone in the struggle of trying to balance schoolwork with all the stuff that I'm doing on the side. And of course, I wouldn't let him go. I just continued the conversation and we went on and on and on. And it was really nice. I'm looking forward and to what we're going to be able to come up with. Um, yeah. So then what kind of should the flowers be and what type of flowers? Today is day two of the project. After speaking with Sese, she would like a painting of some roses. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start with the drawing and go and finish the painting while Sese um, goes and works on the base of the dress. What I want to achieve as an artist during this time is um, a greater ability for networking and just um, being able to meet other artists, um, other people in the art industry, not necessarily just artists, maybe curators as well, um, to explore galleries um, and also just to use this time in university to um, develop my painting skills um, and just uh, yeah develop my, my skills to, to a level where um, that I can really know that I um, um, put a lot of, of, of effort and that I can see development um, over time. important for me to achieve this now while I'm at university um, while I still have something uh, else to study um, because I think when I'm finished university and, and, and after university um, I'm going to be a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of uh, I think a lot of um, responsibility will be on my shoulders with finding um, galleries or just finding um, people who I can um, possibly connect with who can help me in the, in the field in the art field um, and just so I think I think it's important that I develop a network start developing a network now so that 
when I'm complete, when I've finished my degree, um, I'll have uh, a sort of a net to catch me. Um, I won't just be um, starting from scratch. Um, I'll have a sort of a head start and I think it's important just to be um, connected in the art world because in the art field, a lot of it is more networking than the actual art um, in terms of growing and establishing yourself within the art field. We have to do this project in one week because we are very busy people and it's almost exam season. I know for myself that this is the only chance I have to use the equipment that I have access to as a journalism student. I don't think I'll ever get to have access to a P2 camera to work on my own personal projects. And so this week is the only time where everyone is available and everyone is free and we just have to make it work. I should probably mention that my degree is on the line here because this work or this project that we're working on will also be a part of my portfolio uh, which is due very soon and that's why this thing has to be done within a week. I just got off the phone with Sissy and I showed her the drawing and so she's not happy with how it's looking at the moment. She says that, the, according to her, the flowers are too small and she wants them more spaced out with more, so that they can be more blue than red. Um, at this point, I'm a bit tired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back home and I'm going to work from home. Um, I'm not sure how she's going to feel about that, but I hope she'll be happy in the end. <laughs>